Welcome world, John G. Modern Design Aquascaping. Our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood. My goal, educate and inspire the entire world about ponds and waterfalls. Today's video is another project showcase video. A super sweet, super short waterfall project that I sold for my team to build out here in Knoxville, Tennessee. They're gonna go out here and wipe this thing out probably in a day, maybe two if they drag their feet. You guys do me a favor, stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, follow them on Facebook, all that other stuff. I'm gonna go back to North Dakota. Whoop, no, I don't even know what I wanna say about that. What's up guys, Tristan Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping. So while uh, we are in Knoxville, Tennessee, again, another pondless waterfall project we got going right in this beautiful little area here. So we're going for like, you know, roughly, I would say about four foot long of a pondless waterfall, probably a double cascade coming down with laundry basket boulders. So when I say that, it's kind of beach ball -y, you know, looking like a beach ball, two to 400 pounds at the biggest. But as you guys can see right now, there isn't a whole lot of elevation to work with. And those of you who have built waterfalls, it's kind of hard to do without elevation change. So we're gonna be coming right in this area. We've got some retention boulders we're gonna to have to do along the back of this thing to actually create a step up right off the bat. And one thing that I noticed about this project, right where our basin goes, there is a lovely stump. We can't get an excavator out here, so we're gonna to have to dig this thing up by hand. And uh, that's a lot more fun that way. It takes a lot more time. You get to know your area, your surroundings, and your coworkers much better during the times of picking through said stump. This is going to be a beautiful spot to an already beautiful backyard. You can see we've just got beautiful landscaping going on all around. Nice patio that you guys are sitting on for this video right now. Pergola over off to the side, fire pit right behind you, and then there's gonna be a beautiful little pondless waterfall cascading right towards you guys to add some sound and take away some road noise. So uh, we should probably get to digging this stump out and then we can actually do something water feature related. So I'm out, you guys stay tuned. So I would dig out kind of your edge, actually get your basin up here. Okay. You've got the rough footprint for it. Just make sure you're staying six inches off okay. of the patio. Lay it in place, spray paint your actual line and then start digging the outside of that. Thanks, I'm good. Okay. Over here we'll do just like I was talking about, we'll do geo strip right down through there and then we can dig down flat with this all through there and boulders can creep out as long as all the weight isn't over and on the basin, we're good. So you could theoretically have a rock that goes from here to here and out in here. Right. To as close it off a little bit more as long as it's on the edge. The other thing I hate about doing this method is you're gonna be setting boulders on liner on this hard plastic. I am a happy little waterfall. I'm falling, I'm falling right into the basin. This is it. This is what's going on, guys. So we've got our basin in. We got a ton of rain over the last 24 hours. And uh, you know, it turns out they haven't solved drainage in this yard yet. So that is something they're going to do later on is actually fix the drainage issue because it actually holds water behind this mound. So uh, we got boulders rolling in this morning and I did a thing. I did a thing, a thing that I tend to do more often than not. And I uh, picked rocks way bigger than what we had originally planned. So, you know, we were gonna hand build this thing and it's gonna be really hard to set some 700 pound rocks by hand. So probably gonna have to strap them up and maybe on the forks of the ditch witch set these things, but it's gonna make a really big difference 
on the size of a project. So, you know, you think you've got like four feet of waterfall at most is what we're gonna get in this thing with the waterfall ending right in the middle of this basin. Nice bib liner, carry it over to give a little bit of stream in the bottom. And then besides that, it's like two drops, just two cascades. So having a couple 700 pound rocks is going to be very substantial in the outcome of this project. And those should be getting here soon. And we're pretty much ready to rock and roll as soon as they do. So we're getting this area cleaned up, tidied up, get our geotextile in, which is our fabric, so that we can stop everything from washing into this basin, get that stuff all in, laid out, liner in, and boulder slinging. So wait until you see these rocks, because they are absolutely beautiful. Gonna be really hard to set, but they're beautiful, and we'll figure it out, because uh, something I like to say is we'll burn that bridge when we get there. So you guys stay tuned. My glob, you're so beautiful, so beautiful. Yes, you good rock, who's a good rock? Yes, you are, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> got the water feature clean up and running we can see this thing we've got our moss tucked away in the little cracks and crevices where we know that it's gonna have a good time in the future moving forward because this does get a good bit of shade even though we're in full sunlight right now the sun kind of passes over goes over the side behind the house disappears back there but I love the way this thing turned out I love what we did in here we've got this extra little waterfall that's actually back over the basin because the basin goes back to in here and what better to do with the basin than turn it into stream or waterfall we just have fun with all of that stuff so that turned out amazing nice little two inch waterfall down there bringing it closer to the interaction areas you get different sounds from each elevation and each depth of water and I love the way that this thing turned out so the top one probably my favorite it just runs into this rock falls back in off the side little pitcher out there it's like triple awesomeness factor going on in there I don't know I just love it that's what we got so a little bit of dirt work extra rocks and topsoil and we're we're out of here but that's for these guys for now I'm out of here I'll see you guys later
What do you think? That's the end. The smallest waterfall our team has built all year long. Do you like it? Is it super cool? Is it uncool? You know what to do. Share some information with me. Share your heart down in the comment section. Like, subscribe, bell, ding the bell, sledgehammer the bell, do whatever you're going to do. I appreciate you guys. Stay tuned and we'll be back with more awesome projects that our team gets to build in the Knoxville area. John G is out.